Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We're continuing another campaign, this time with Imperial Germany. We're going to play on the hardest difficulty. Play, yep. We're going to play on the hardest difficulty. I'm going to play with historical on. Uh, you, have no, you have no idea how many times I've had to do this, this Let's Play over and over. Because I made a mistake, or there was like some background noise, or I didn't have the mic on. Oh, it's just been disastrous. Anyway, I'm going to play as if there's a multiplayer rule. So... I'm not going to cheese and invade Iran all right off the bat. I'm not going to declare war through justification. Um, but I will use uh, kamikazes everywhere. So we're going to play on the hardest difficulty, meaning that we're going to get minus 15% political power gain, minus 30% production efficiency cap, and minus 30% research speed. Research speed. And the enemy gets tons of fuel bonuses. So we're, it's going to be a big problem for lack of equipment especially that germ japan already has that issue okay, everything's on reset we're on historical there we go all right so i think i'm pretty good at japan but if you guys see anything i'm doing wrong please just like you know message me i'm going to give you my philosophy about why i do certain things and why i think it's the most meta so, we'll see all right first things first like every game Get the 10% 10, 10 production efficiency cap, which we need because we have minus per, uh, everything right now. Need more construction speed. Oops, I did not mean to click that. Then we'll do extra research because we have minus 30% research. Oh man, I misclicked again. Now we don't do grand battle plan doctrine. You skip it and go to superior firepower. It's better for soft attack and you need it, especially against China. Right off the bat, you're going to build sieves. You're going to get eight factories. Then four. Uh, yeah, we'll do. Yeah, we'll do this actually. Oh uh, yeah, we'll do. I always do this. Then we're gonna change this to cash. Carrier cash. Oh, and we're gonna change this to interwar carrier. All right. So the best doctrine now. You're gonna want to go down this in base ability. Then go over here, getting more factories. Do national mobilization law. Making a war economy, less consumer goods, national research policy, then this military factory, then national defense, and then do the Marco Polo incident. Ignore everything else, and then come over here and get your zero. And that is what you're doing. I'm pretty sure. If I, if you think I'm wrong, or there's a more efficient way, let me know because I I'd like to know too. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna trade with allies. We're gonna trade with the Germans. So I am, and then once again the Germans. Now we need 24. We start off with two types of divisions. These guys. We're going to convert them into 40 woods at one point. Uh, let me just organize. Okay. So we're going to grab 24 divisions. Is everything going well? Yeah, okay. We're 24. Um, oh, we got one more. Okay, then we're going to grab another. Should be There should be two stacks of 24s. One's gonna become your. Oh man, we can undo these. Um, oh. oh, I need to unselect this. There we go. And then we're gonna grab another. Whoever's left. Should be it should be 12 units. Alright, there we go. We're gonna convert these guys to be our 40 whiffs. Everybody else is gonna be turned into garrison troops. All of them. We're going to make this red. We're going to give him the guy with the attacking bonus. Plus, ten, plus one attack. But this guy gets... I don't know. This guy has better logistics too. Um, we're going to make this guy. 40 with commander. We'll give him the attacking bonus guy. We're going to give these guys the castle. Um, give him whatever commanders that are available. This will also get the castle. Okay, so you're gonna have your 40 wits attack through the main entrance of China. You're gonna have a fallback line here. Get your guys moving. Another fallback line, in Japan. Get these guys moving. You don't need any guys out here. You don't need them until later. We're gonna delete all of our carrot craft except the ones in the carriers. But come on, they go into a pool, so they don't disappear. So you're totally fine doing that. You're gonna want to grab your entire naval fleet and put them together so you can quickly organize it. All right, and you're good to go. Like this is ready to start. 
All right, let's go to five speed. All right, let's talk about some things actually first. You're gonna come down here. You're gonna have all these decisions. Gonna, the the army and navy are fighting each other, so you need to pick a side. First, you're gonna prioritize steel for guns, getting the military factories, giving you better factory output. Then you're gonna prioritize the naval aircraft because you're building. That's why I'm building naval aircraft right now. You're gonna get CAS, naval CAS, and you get naval fighters, which is pretty good production value. And that's what's gonna be key for the zeros. And then you're going to go back to the ground forces. You're going to get recruitable population plus 2%. Then you're going to go back to the Navy. You can do more dockyards. And that should come out even. Okay. So let's keep going. Everybody's moving. Fleet's getting together. Fleet's together. Grab all the submarines. Select. Create a new fleet. Zip them out of there. Okay, now we need a escort fleet. Convoy raiding, patrol, a whole bunch of different things. You're going to need 60 destroyers. You're going to need 12 light cruisers. Ah, we did one more. Whatever. After. Light cruisers. Go. Select. Get rid of one destroyer. Send them here. I'm going to create a new fleet. You guys combine, they split, we'll have two fleets. Okay, these guys will be our troll, give them the binoculars. Did it! These guys will be our subs, we'll put a sub symbol. And these guys will be our fighting ships. We'll have the cannon symbol, which they already have. Um, Yamato will trick, command this, he has tons of good bonuses. There'll be a guy down here for raiding, really good for raiding, and then you'll have a guy on the very top who's got patrol. We'll give him that. Now we're gonna split this up into ten two, so ten destroyers, two light cruisers. And if you guys don't know it better, like the naval mechanics are kind of all messed up, and I'm not totally an expert on it. So if you have any suggestions about what is more efficient with the fleet combat, please leave a comment because I'm very curious. It's still kind of the the most big thing to me about what to do it's, it's just an enigma like I don't understand how it's supposed to work <laughs> it's pretty rough I think they need to redo the naval mechanics in this game in my opinion oh what just happened oh what the heck select select very new fleet sorry about that oh my god I'm just messing this up I'm clicking too fast boys uh one two Um, go out here. All right, what else do we need to do? You do two more times and we can just split it. Oh, wait, we can do it now, right? Split. And split. There you go. All right, we're done. Now we do one more thing and then we're done with everything. We're going to get rid of all of our um, stupid torpedo bombers. Don't need them. Torpedo bombers, bad. Take this down. You can change it up depending on what you need. And if you know how people play, you can kind of build the build differently. I'm going to lean for more casts on my, my uh, fleet. We'll do 20 fighters on this one and 40 casts. We'll do 20, 40. Then we'll do 10 casts here. Oh, like that, we're good. We'll make these guys go here, and we'll make our subs go down here. First things first, we're gonna have. Oh wait, these guys aren't in a separate fleet, are they? Yeah, they are. That's weird. Yeah, we're gonna have these guys, the main fleet. We're gonna have them train. It's gonna take all our fuel, but it's all right. Then we're gonna come back down here, cancel our American fuel. We're gonna waste all of our fuel. Have the fleet train giving us more naval experience and the troop and also your ships get experience your naval ships get experience they're not just train they don't get that minus 10 percent damage defense and sorry minus 10 percent damage and minus 10 percent defense we got 90 days of fuel so we're fine 
All right, now let's set some aircraft around. We got some no aircraft. Great. Um. Wait. <laughs> wait for now. All right, everything's set up. We're doing well. Everything's going well. There's some good bonuses actually, Japan. You don't want to do anything with the land, uh, the, the treaty yet. Kind of just stay under it. You can't really produce that many big ships. You kind of want to just get as many ships as you can out there. So I think it's kind of good just to ignore it. Want to get organizer? Position recovery rate plus ten percent. That's the good one. Um, let's just gotta get gorilla. Who cares? All right, nothing important. Do all these ships out here. It's all moto class, I think. Oh yeah, I forgot. Oh, stupid. Don't need you. All right, we don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need you. Carrier. Anybody else? Um, where they deploy? All these guys are already deployed. All right, run this. We're gonna have them deploy here. The new fleet. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we need steel. Why well, we buy it from the Germans? We militarized the Rhineland already. Okay, now we're gonna go down here and get that plus two percent civilian factories, military construction speed bonus. And then we're gonna do prioritize steel for the guns. We'll get some more military factories, giving us enough to build more aircraft. We do have enough rubber. So unfortunately, my factory conversion, or like putting these areas, is messed up because we have that debuff of minus 30%. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> uh, efficiency cap. So we're going to have less equipment. It'll be different. So I'm going to have to adapt to that. But we'll see. Probably won't be able to train these guys. We could probably send some volunteers to Sp uh, Spain. In fact, we'll get three guys. We'll, we'll figure out who has to go over there. But we'll send we'll send this general over with some guys. That'll be the plan. And then we'll get tons of XP there. We'll farm off Spanish Civil War. And then we'll make some 40 whiffs. Normally I'd make some marine divisions, convert a couple, but unfortunately uh, we're going to have a lack of guns, so we're just going to have to ignore that for now. You normally would be able to do. Do that. Naval experience. Tips are all getting trained up too. What we want. Oh, uh, are we going to lose ships? Go back and repair if you really hurt. <laughs> yeah, alright. Now we're going to have to stop the training. Go back to port, please. Oh, so this... Dubs here. The guys, we have in the Navy. We have uh, 116,000 men. I not tell you guys stop. I said stop. Here we are, building fuel again. Yeah, get these. We want to make sure we get radios by the start of the war. Uh, we're going to do another research feed. I should cut a little bit into the debuff. <laughs> oh my god. Minus 30%. That is so big. I cannot believe that's allowed. This is going to be so tough. So we're going to mobilize now. Oh, I forgot to do this. Prior to steal the... 
All right, we can test the Soviet Union. We're not gonna be able to beat the AI. I'm just gonna... won't give him a free doctrine. Usually you do this, but like the problem is the Soviet Union is gonna put tanks there. You're not gonna win it, in my opinion. You get a bonus of research. Well, we'll I don't know. We'll do it if we have time. We test the Soviets. We have 40 West, we'll do it. Now we're prioritizing the military, the army. Got some more factories. Look at the factories give us. Now we have four for each. Send more to guns now because we don't have any guns. We should have some decent amount of cash when the war starts with uh, China. Get national mobilization, then we'll get the extra research slot. Then we'll do, total, then we'll do nationalize the war industry, giving us another four factories. And we'll put that to guns. I usually spread it out to other things, but we won't this time because of how bad our thing is. We're going to do concentrated industry. I don't think the Americans will be bombing us. I think we're good on that part. Nationalize. Because all right, so now we can send volunteers. How many air? How many volunteers can we send? Yeah, we could send. We're gonna send some fighters too. Um. And carrier fighters. Don't even have a full squadron, but we'll send what we can. To grab U three. Actually, we'll grab the best. The best. Already have commander. You guys are fully equipped. We'll send volunteers. Bam. 14 days to arrival. I'm not sure a whole division, two division, three division worths can fly that far that fast. But, you know, I could be wrong. The aircraft are going to fly across the globe. I right, get the research slot. All right. Commander's here. We're gonna go. That yeah, actually. There we go. Our experience. Uh, I need you guys to run, please, not walk. Alright. You know what? We'll send some cash too. We can. We have enough. Deploying, deploying, deploying. Ah, Japan's Games Olympics been held. And we'll send it, guys. Get some first combat in here. They have arrived yet? Here we go. Now we're getting some cash in. They're great. So we don't have the fuel to even fly that few aircraft. All right, we have to buy from the, we'll buy, buy from the Netherlands, being that they're gonna be conquered by the Germans, hopefully. <laughs> For that XP. Research is going so slow. We're gonna have to be more nick picky, nick picky about our research now. 
I don't finish superior firefighter. We get plus ten percent soft attack. We get plus ten percent organization. Yeah, five hundred and fifty-four days. Oh my god! I don't think we can do this. We're gonna have to wait and get more X battle XP. We're gonna continue our doctrine. There's just no way we can spend that much time doing research. Oh my god, that is brutal. Well, maybe we can. I don't know. Oh no. We cannot. Normally, guys, you'd always have a tree search going down that. Don't do what I'm doing normally. That's. It's just brutal with that. I don't know what to do. <laughs> that is so bad. They're about to make a breakthrough. Japanese are flying about. On farm. Lost zero guys in that battle. <laughs> Okay, so we get minus political power. Minus 15%. Let's cancel it out. Now we're making normal amount of political power. And that XP, and that air XP. Back across the river. What are we missing? Rubber. I am can't produce. Guess Dutch East Indies will. Kind of surround the Soviet Union divisions. Want to get those kills? Maybe we can relieve some of the pressure for the uh, Germans. One division at a time. Made the surrounding happen. Are these guys support the attack? It's just control. All right, we got we got them surrounded. Yeah, we'll join. All right, now we have to make a choice here. Yeah, minus thirty. Yeah, let's do it. National line. Yeah, let's get that uh bigger bonus. All right, we got. We can surround more. Let's not do it though. We want to make more. We want to grind it out more. Fight to Madrid like this. Okay, we need some convoys. We have no convoys in Japan. It's a big deal. All right, there we go. Cross the river. All right, we're gonna redeploy here. We're trying to make a, a big encirclement against the Soviet Union. Come on, please get ready. Are we aircraft? My aircraft are not helping me, are they? There we go. And now we're dominating. Gotta get around. Okay, we got that plus ten percent attack. That's what we're looking for. I'll get this general as high as possible. Uh 
All right. Now we can prioritize naval aircraft. Where is it, please? There it is. There you go. Now we're back to even. No debuffs or or bonuses. See, everything's going proper. We're gonna try to surround the Chinese divisions. Try to chat, uh, Russian divisions. <laughs> Look at more anything about China. Oh, we gotta keep these guys surrounded. There we go. Now we got them surrounded. Nice. Now we don't need to do these until later. We need to we need the conference first. You also normally you don't need. Um, so a lot of people focus on the supremacy of will. You don't need that until way later. Like you shouldn't have any trouble just destroying China. Which I mean, it's going to be different being that we're fighting the AI on crazy difficulty and we have huge uh, lack of units or resources. Okay, we're gonna kill all the Russian divisions. There's one, two, there's three, three Russian divisions. They seem to be Mountaineers. I can't tell. Mm, I don't know, whatever, it doesn't matter, they're gonna die. I'll well, research this because we're gonna be going to war soon. There we go. Boom. Go fight up here and we grind. And my aircraft? Where are my aircraft? Back up here. Fight in the mountains. Give me more XP for that, plus 75% bonus. That's why you want veterans. <laughs> so good. Just steamrolling. I want that soft attack. Can't afford it yet. Um. Uh, we should probably keep researching this, but it's just gonna take 500 days. Oh my god, why? Fuel gain for oil, fuel gain from refineries. Alright, we're crossing. Oh, we can't attack because they're attacking. Alright, whatever. Let's attack here. And we'll come back around. Got plenty of air XP. Upgrade our. Uh, or zero. Well, that's why I can drag this out a little longer, but yeah. Big crow, yeah, so in 100, not that long, we'll start the conflict. No, just gotta keep me meat grinding. Get more of that uh, army XP and air XP. You can sometimes, by the way, when this is created, just immediately disband it and join the, the Axis. Up to you. That's just personal preference. Wouldn't say one way is better than the other. Alright, how many artillery pieces do we have? We have enough, I think, to add an artillery piece. Is that good? Yeah. But it's in dead a little bit, but not that much. They just naval invade? No way. That's the end of the war. I uh, no thank you. Trying to create their own puppet state. No, I'm going to have direct control over you. Build 
build an airfield there at one point. <clears throat> Trying to get more XP. Air XP is crazy. We're getting so much so fast. Look at that. Getting up too. Uh, there we go. We can get another. We're going to get industry research speed. The army generals. Ram. Blah, blah, blah. Plain doctrine. Plain doctrine research speed. Industry research speed. We're already doing research for industry. Everything else doesn't matter. War industry. Not yet. Two military theorists. Plus 10%. Army experience gain. Ah, no, no, no. Good military factory construction speed. We're getting close to... Oh, man. It's because of the debuffs. Two infantry leader defense. We're about to attack China. Sorry about that message. Someone's messaging me. All right, let's, let's end this conflict. Actually, no, we'll keep that. Ah, it's over, yeah. All right, so our men are going to come home, and we're about to start the war in not that long. We, like, less than almost 80 days, 90 days. Construction done. Ah, oh, I don't want to start this. That's just such brutal. I don't want to do it. Um, your refinery research you may need refineries. Do air doctrine research. Hmm. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's just start this. Plus five percent research speed. I'll help us a little bit. Cut into it. It'll take a year, but whatever. Yep, we're almost, yeah, so Amelia Heart to Spirit's good, they don't get a free ace, they get an ace, a really good ace if it happens. Starting plan skill level is now army arched. My troops back home? No. Oh yeah, they are. Put these on this. Back a commander. And we'll also give, look at this, he's already bad. Ass. And in you guys by Yeah, Marco Pro Marco Polo Bridge incident. It's gonna start soon. Alright, we're gonna take any of these guys. We're gonna plan a naval invasion. Yeah, there we go. Seven, eight, nine, ten. You can just delete these guys' orders. You can come here. We can delete all these guys' orders. All right, everything's going well. We'll increase the army size a little bit. Yeah, okay, that's good. Nothing's too bad yet. So, well, next episode, okay, so we're going to stop here in a second, but next episode we'll talk more about what to do now when the Marco Polo incident starts. Especially against a player, I think the Hey Art AI will be like a good indicator for like, you know, an average level player. But anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it off here because next time we're going to start the we're gonna start the war with China. And I'll see you guys around. Have a good day. Oh, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe, by the way. You can always unsubscribe at a later date.